welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, well as you can see, I got the post hole logger in the back of the Kubota tractor and we're going to do some digging. Now if you guys remember last year, I was trying to put a ground rod in the ground on the other side of the cabin. Guys, I must have punched 100 holes. I hit 100 rocks. I'll put a link down below for that bit if you'd like to see that. And guys, that was the hardest day of uh, trying to put a ground rod in. But here, I brought it out a good 10, 12 feet away from the cabin. Hopefully, we're not going to hit a rock because it's a whole big ball game here. Trying to move this around, getting it all squared up and punching a hole. Now this auger, 46 inch maximum uh, depth. So when I bottom it right out, it should be just fine. I'll show you what I'm putting in the ground. I built that over the winter time. It was a project on making the uh, mast for the solar panel. Take you off the tripod, show you what we got going on. Okay, so there's the rig right there, and it's 48 right to the top here. So 46 should be fine. If I can bring it down to about here, that'd be fine. And we'll just stab that in the ground. So I'll take you over to the, to the auger here. And I like to line it up as much as I can. You probably can't see that bubble there, but uh, it's close enough. And of course, if your tractor tires are uneven, well, this is going to be cockeyed too, like that, right? So you got to try and level it up the best you can. So I'm going to prop you up here. We're going to stab in a hole. Hopefully it's a good one because I only need one good hole. Okay, you ready? Okay, so now I just gotta bring the tractor ahead of it. You can see it's kind of going off water there. I'm gonna bring the tractor just ahead about here. Just a tad more. Okay, that looks a little bit better there. Hopefully when the yard comes down, I might have to get off one more time, but so far so good.
like I hit a rock. I hit a rock guys. Let me take a look. There we go. That's the only rock there. I mean, not because it was just hitting it off to the side. Well, I'll get lucky if I get through with that. Okay, let's keep on going.
39. We gotta go a little bit more yet. See if I can stuff that right in there. I got to take you off the tripod and show you that. You're not going to believe it. Bang on 40 sec. Well, there's the hole, guys. She's not exactly perfect straight, but it's okay for a post in the ground. And if I can get this tape in the Oh, get in there, you. There we go, right there. What do we got there? Guys, that's pretty close right there. Come on. 46 and a half. Bang on. Okay, so I thought a big storm was going to come through here, so I really didn't have time to film and do everything with mixing the uh, concrete and putting the post in the ground, but that only took about 15 minutes anyways. I'll show you what I did so far, and uh, this is what's going to be uh, left for this week until I can come back and pour one more bag of concrete because I wanted to pour a top to it as well, and you'll see what's going on here. I'll show you right now. Well, there's a little cement mixer I got, and that's a real Jim Dandy, that thing there, called uh, Red Lion. I've had that for about 25 years, and guys, it just keeps on going. Okay, so here's the hole here. This is what we got so far, and you can see I got a little bit of a form there, and you can tell that that piece of plywood, I'm sorry, that two by four there, is a little bit lower. So that's all gonna be kind of chamfered to roll off the top there. And that's pretty well it there, and it should take one more bag. Now you see I pounded in some Schedule 40 pipe there. I pound that in right next to that pipe and then I'll fill that all with concrete. Guys, this is going to be rock solid, I'll tell you what. And if you're wondering where I got the water from, this is my uh, little bit of a trailer here with a 50 gallon water tank on the back and I get the water from down in my spring there. Okay, well here we are, we're back in the city and you're wondering, okay, so what happened there? Okay, first of all, 
I tried to do that vid and uh, and you know what these storms are rolling in and I thought I better get this stuff all poured and get it in the ground and uh, that's about it and it's terrific if you made it this far in the vid but uh, three storms came through first of all I had an Alberta clipper then I had a nor'easter blew in from Newfoundland and then I had a Chinook from Nova Scotia just kind of weave in there in Northern Ontario and just pounded me for the rest of the day with rain and hail. And uh, yeah, I couldn't finish the end of that vid, but this is the finishing of the vid right here. And uh, next we're going to see the uh, tower kind of get assembled here because I cannot figure out how to do all this up there. I got to assemble everything down here first, mock it all up, and, uh, and then we'll take a take two and see if we can get this thing done up there because I want to have this in this year and guys I'm looking forward to doing some more solar work and uh, hopefully we don't get no more Alberta clippers coming through there because I tell you what that was some storm okay so thanks for joining me here this is quite a bit of a long vid I'm not used to making a lot of vids like this but the other half was done the next day at home so thanks for joining me here today. If you've never seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe. And uh, these guys take care. Come back again now. Cheers.